YouTube.com. The first thing we're going to make in this How to Make Money tutorial series is some really cool boxes. Now, we're going to start off by making the bottom of the box. And we're going to make it... Uh, let's just say that we need to store something that is uh, 3 inches by 1 inch by 4 inches. So, we're going to go for the width interior using eighth inch board if we need three inches interior we need to make it three and a quarter we need an inch of height plus the bottom of one eighth so we need it to be one and an eighth tall and then the depth if we want four inches interior needs to be four and a quarter all right we're going to select our one eighth down here we're going to select fingers and then we're going to choose how wide we want our fingers to be which for this is either 0.15 or 0.20 we'll, we'll do 0.20 it's fine then we're going to generate plans and save it we're going to download it just like that and that's case plans blank that's the end, bottom then we're going to come back and we're going to make the top of the box now the top of the box needs to be able to house the bottom nested inside so it has to be bigger so the width, if we add an eighth inch twice is a quarter, so it'll be three and a half inches wide. The height needs to be the bottom plus an eighth inch on top, so it's actually going to be one and a quarter. And the depth is going to be four and a half. Now once that's done, we'll go ahead and we'll put these at point two so that they match the others. And then generate plans, download plans, and now the top is case plans one, the bottom is case plans general. So we go straight to our Corel Draw. We're going to open a new file by pressing Control and N. Okay. So create new document. We're going to call this uh, Clam Box because it's a Clam Box. Now I'm going to be using my Epilog Mini, uh, and it has a bed of 24 by 12, so I'm going to do that. We make sure that we only have one page, because duplicate pages will try to print. Um, and everything else here is good, so we just hit OK, and boom, we're in a brand new document. Now, Control i to import case plans number one, or not number one, just regular. That's going to be the bottom of our box. So as soon as we bring it in, we control U to ungroup all objects. And then while it's still all selected, we go up here to our boundary, our border here. We're going to drop down menu, create it to hairline, and then that's going to tell the laser to cut. So we delete this because we don't need it, this because we don't need it, this because we don't need it, and then we've got bottom part of the box right there and these are the two sides for the box now what we're going to do next is make this a flat top okay so we go over to our two-point line if yours isn't already selected just use this little arrow click that and then bam two-point line we're set we're going to do a line from node to node node just like that. Okay, and then we go right here. All right, so we have our lines here, our lines here. The next thing we're going to do is select our virtual segment delete going to delete these fingers that we no longer need and these fingers that we no longer need. Now you can see the little dashes here. They disappear if you zoom in but you can see them from back here and that means that your laser is going to try to engrave them. So we're going to select there on one of the thin lines. We're going to hold down shift, select again and then we're going to press up to open it up. Now you can see those lines. We're going to virtual segment delete those just like this, just like that. 
and go back to our picker tool and back down until this is nice and even. And once that's done, we select, we group objects. We also can just do control G and group objects. And that's our inside box. Now, obviously our box needs four sides. So we are going to take and we're going to duplicate that's control D and then just mouse it down. Just like that, the inside of our box is done. Now, for the top of the box, control I again to bring in case plans one. We'll pop it down. We're going to ungroup. We're going to hairline. We're going to delete all of these things that we no longer need. We're going to scoot that out just a little. And then the same thing we did to the bottom of the box, we're going to do to the top of the box. There's node to node. Okay, and then and delete those. Remember to hold down shift and then delete these again, delete these again, bring it back down and we've got a nice everything sorted out. So control G to group that, control G to group this, top of the box, boom, we'll bring it right over here. We're going to go ahead, control D to duplicate, and then just down arrows to move it down. I mean, or you could click and drag. You could change your nudge distance. You could do basically whatever you want here. But what I want to do is go ahead, rotate. For this. And then if I do that, I can take, move these here, move this up a bit, move these over, and now I'm eating less of my board, so I can actually do three of these per board just by clicking everything. And when we click everything, if you look up here, you notice that this is blank. That means that somewhere in the middle of this, there is a line that is not set to hairline. So while we have it all selected, we change it all to hairline because we want everything here to cut out. Okay? Now, I want to make sure that I I'm going to rotate that back to zero. I want to make sure that it's easy enough for me to pick up and pull the interior box out from the outside box. So I want to put some finger holes in it. We're going to finger hole it up, hairline it up. Don't show me that again. Just, you know what? Scoot. There we go. Center. I'm going to hold shift, drag, and then shape it to where I think will be a nice little bit of a finger hole. That should be plenty. And then change that to hairline and delete the extra lines that we no longer need at this point. Then control G to group, control D to duplicate, and down we go. Then we'll 90 degree it off and move it back over here. I'm going to go over here to step and repeat. I'm going to put horizontal at space between objects. We're going to do zero. Vertical is going to be no offset, and we're going to do one copy. Now, you can see that looks pretty good or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and 180 it, because once I 180 it, I can bring it in like this and close up that gap. And then... 
we'll make another copy and we'll zero it out and step it this way and then boom everything is nice and good and with one board we can make three copies of this particular box however for this tutorial I don't need three copies of this box I'm only going to need one copy of the box so I'm going to delete all of that stuff out now this by itself is plenty good enough to have a saleable product. You can sell custom boxes, put your stuff in there, be done, ready to go. Or you can actually do some type of images that you want to engrave on it. Now I'm going to control I and bring in just some type of image. I'm going to do this old Thundercats thing just because I can. And I'm not selling this, so it's fine. Um, I'm first going to take and Go to bitmaps, go to mode, make it black and white. That's good, so I don't even need to adjust down here, and I've already chosen line art. Now, once I've got it done, I need to pretty it up. You see how it's all janky and jagged? That's not something that I want. So I'm going to go to outline, trace line art, and then I'm actually going to do remove color from the entire image. And then that gives us a nice transparency. Okay. Then I'll take it over to the top of the box, which is the larger of the two, right here. And there it is. And let's go ahead. I'm going to click one corner and hold down shift. And that's going to expand from the center until it looks like it's right where I want it to be. Now, this thing said it was in the center, but if I'm looking at it, this side and that side are not very well centered. So I'm going to actually use my keys and pretty it up. The top and bottom don't look centered either. So I'm going to manually just nudge it a bit. Now if I didn't want to nudge, if I wanted it to be perfect, I would use this measuring tool and I would go from edge to there and then to here. But as you can see, I'm actually pretty good at just eyeballing it. So Now, let's finish this tutorial by actually making this box. I am going to switch over to my camera now, but before I do, let's go ahead and, as I said, I'm using my Epilogue Mini. It is a 60 watt. We're cutting 8 inch board. So I actually will click Print right here, choose my Epilogue Mini. Go to preferences and then because I'm engraving and cutting I'm gonna leave it on combined uh, 600 is fine for the DPI I don't do autofocus I manually focus uh, the size of the piece that I'm putting in is 24 by 12 so it's good it matches the bed I'm gonna raster at 50% speed 100% power I'm gonna raster from the bottom up using a Jarvis dithering and then for the vector because it's eighth inch, I'm actually going to do a 20% speed, 100% power, and somewhere near 500 for the frequency. Mine's just a 569. It's, it's perfectly fine. I click OK. I click Apply. I look in my preview window over here, and I can see that, yes, this is exactly what I want it to do. I'm going to hit OK, and that sends it to my laser. That's where we're going to pick up in just a second.